To be fair, Bali is an amazing place. It's only an island, but there's so much there to see. And the cost of vacationing on the island is so low, it has drawn tourists from around the world and become a tourism mecca. You will find Bali to be a cheaper place to stay and eat. And it is shown in the average cost of $37 a night as compared to $45 a night on average to stay in Thailand. One of the main reasons for the discrepancy in the cost between these two amazing places is their currencies. The value of the Thai baht is very strong, whereas the Indonesian rupiah has been weak and devalued for a very long time. Your food cost in Bali is going to be about $36 a day as compared to $45 a day in Thailand. Keep in mind, these are averages. In both of these countries, a lot of money can be saved by eating street food. It's delicious and it's available just about everywhere. And now for spending money. I try to use as a rule of thumb the amount of money that I allow for meals to be the same amount of money I would use for spending money for that day. So for Bali, you're looking at about 36 bucks, Thailand about 45. Now, if you've got tours to go on top of, you're gonna kind of average that out. If there's a really expensive tour that you wanna do, you may have to make a special allowance for it. And now for culture. The island of Bali is actually part of Indonesia, but the Indonesian government designated the island of Bali because of its unique culture as a place where they wanted tourists to come and see what Indonesia had to offer. The Balinese culture is a mixture of a local spiritual culture that was being practiced when the Dutch arrived with the Hindu religion. The people of Bali have blended these two rich cultures together to come up with something that is absolutely unique. You won't find any high rises on the island of Bali. In the 1960s, the priests ruled that no building can be higher than three stories. So since then, nothing has been built any higher. The only exception to this was the original Bali Grand Hotel. Now, there may not be a lot of high hotels, but they have thousands of temples. Everywhere you'll travel in Bali, you will see temples. There are city temples, village temples, regional temples, there are temples on each block, and in some cases, homes themselves will have a private temple. Don't go to Bali thinking you're going to see a culture you've seen before, because you won't. They have festivals around the year at different times that sometimes line up with Western holidays and sometimes don't. So check into that before you go. You might be able to catch a really wonderful and unique festival. Because of the Hindu religion being practiced in concert with their spiritual beliefs, you will see some crossover. You will see a lot of offerings being put in front of businesses and temples. You can purchase offerings and place them in front of a business or a hotel or a temple and join in part of the culture. In short, the Balinese people have a unique culture. Make sure to allow some time to see the temples and enjoy their culture while there. You will not get an opportunity to see this culture anywhere else in the world. The Kingdom of Thailand is primarily a Buddhist country. The Thais have been welcoming people to their country and playing host to the world for generations. One of the jewels in the crown of Thailand is the royal city located in Bangkok. If you have an opportunity, please go there. You will be dazzled by the golden reclining Buddha and the palace grounds in general. You will see where the kings of Thailand have lived for generations. Thailand is a vast country with many different areas for tourists to explore. You can do everything from washing elephants in Chiang Mai, visiting the ancient hill tribes in the north to swimming in the beautiful oceans of the south. Many people find the island of Thailand to be very commercialized, which it is, because it's been welcoming tourists for so long.
This does not mean that there's not a lot of nature to explore or unique Buddhist temples to see. For culture, I'm going to have to give the nod to Bali. Their unique, rich culture, though concentrated on the island, is very accessible for tourists to see, and most find it very immersive and enjoyable. So in reviewing our findings, we find that the cost of accommodation, spending money and food are less in Bali, and the culture is more immersive and more accessible. So I guess we have to say that we tip our hat towards Bali. I feel the important thing to remember though is that Bali is a small island where Thailand is a huge country. The comparison is a little bit skewed. The other thing is depending on where it is you're going to stay and what you want to eat, it will make your costs vary a great deal. So if you really want to dial it in, pick a location in Bali pick a location in Thailand and do a little shopping. Go head to head and then you'll have a more accurate take on how it's going to affect you and your travel plans for your vacation. Thanks for watching The Rusty Traveler. Hope to see you on the road. Bye for now.